It's easy to look forward and think about that regional and think about getting back to that regional and that, that regional final where we weren't able to extend our season, but you know we can't get ahead of ourselves. We Coach Bolt really emphasizes, you know, one day at a time, one pitch at a time, to, you know, be in the moment and not get ahead of ourselves. So, you know, it's easy to bring the momentum into the off season to work hard when you know that's the goal and that's what we want to do and we've experienced that. So once you get a taste of that, you know, it's easy to use that as motivation, but at the same time, you got to be, you know, in the moment. We're not going to make a regional opening weekend, but we can stack them together from the start, and that starts in the off season. And I feel like we've done a good job of, you know, continuing that momentum into the season and to this point. So. How about for you personally? What did the off season look like? How do you feel like maybe you're a different or a better pitcher than you were? Right, you know, just being more consistent with my routine and with, you know, my preparation and, um, I didn't play summer ball. I took the summer off, but um, I still feel like I improved a lot going into the fall and um, you know making strides as as a pitcher in general as a whole. You know, um, fastball command, Coach Bolt touched on, and being able to throw the off speed consistently and then on favorable counts. You know, down in the count, being able to you know have all three or four pitches at any given point. So. Just the consistency aspect of pitching has is, is improved a lot for me. For sure, fastball, slider, change. Yeah, so fastball, curveball, slider, change. Um, kind of two, two different breaking balls. One's a little harder, and you know, one's a little bigger shape and a little slower. So I've, I've worked those together and, you know, and improved both of them and um, looking to have them all from opening weekend for sure. Was that change up new for you, or was that some of the years kind of older? Or? Yeah, no, I, I've been working on it for a couple of years. Um, I didn't really have a changeup coming into college, you know. I just kind of threw hard and spun it, um, coming from the infield. But I've really, you know, tried tried to improve my changeup as you know, it's the hardest pitch to throw and it's also the hardest pitch to hit. So you know, it's going to take a while, but it's definitely come a long ways and it's developed into a pitch that I feel like I can use effectively to, you know, the lefties and righties. Um, and that you know, it's only going to play off my fastball and aid the other pitches if I can develop it and throw it in a game so you know that's the goal and I I can't be afraid to throw it you know throw it whether I have it or not I feel like it gets better throughout the game so I'm, I'm excited to get to work with the change up this year for sure. It's kind of your sense of this pitching staff it seems like you guys have just a ton of depth I guess to start the season. Yeah for sure we're gonna have a lot of guys step up and you know um, give us a lot of big innings that we maybe didn't think uh, we were gonna. That just speaks to the talent, you know, top to bottom of our bullpen, and um, I'm real excited to see how it shakes out. You know, we have a lot of arms, and you know, kind of a next up mentality, um, next man up for you know, our whole staff because we have so many guys that have the ability to be great, and um, there's not going to be a lot of time to you know get into it. The guys know that they're going to have to come in throwing strikes, and I have faith and trust in their ability to do that, and um, yeah, it'll, it'll be exciting for sure to see them come out of the pen. What have you kind of seen? I know Coach Bolt just talked about guys kind of maybe doing some different things in the offseason. What have you seen just, you know, when you guys been in small groups and things like that as far as progress from different guys? Yeah, you know, the competition aspect of us being a lot deeper has really pushed, pushed us. So, you know, a lot in years past that, that I've been here anyway, this is the most competitive fall and the most competitive offseason. So you, knowing that there's a guy that's working for your spot and that's coming right behind you, that only pushes us you know, as a whole and makes us all better. So seeing that, um, that preparation and that work in the offseason has definitely um, improved and we've pushed, done a good job of pushing each other to you know, be better and make strides. And, you know, and if we do that as an individual, you know, put it together as a team, we're, we're going to do good things. So is your arm in pretty good shape? And what do you do, I guess, in the off season to make sure that you know you're in the right spot as the season approaches? Right, you know, it's kind of a happy medium between resting and you know working out. So I feel like I did did a good job of you know giving it that time to rest and slowly building into it. So my arm feels really good right now. Um, I threw like three innings yesterday, and I feel good today. You know, just gonna keep stacking it next week, add another inning, and slowly build up to the season. So I feel like I'm in a really good place and. I feel like as a team, we're in a really good place too. A lot of guys are healthy. We're, we've knocked on wood, but we've kind of avoided a lot of injuries, which is in getting guys back, which is really good. So I'm excited about you know where we're at for sure. There aren't a lot of guys on this team that have played a full college baseball season. You're, you're one of just a handful. Like, what do you tell them 
go into playing a full season, the challenges, just things you have to do differently maybe when you're playing midweeks too? Yeah, you know, it just comes back to that consistent consistency aspect. We can't, you know, get down and we just got to have a short memory and flush the previous weekend and we can't get ahead to the next weekend. You know, we have that midweek too. It's It feels like forever since we've had midweeks, you know, and we just got to stay on the guys and stick together and move on and not, you know, dwell on a bad weekend and carry that into the Tuesday. We really got to do a good job of just moving forward and one day at a time, one pitch at a time. <clears throat> that uh, Friday night roll is open. Um, I mean, is that kind of something that you've got your eye on, wanting to, to take that role? Yeah, for sure. That's a, that's a goal of mine, and I want to be that guy for the team. And, you know, the, it doesn't change my mindset going into the start, whether I'm Friday or Saturday or Sunday. You know, the, the plan and the goal is the same, but I, whether me, Perry, whoever it may be, I, I feel confident in all of us to, you know, set the tone and um, get out, get the weekend started on, you know, the right foot. And I feel like I have the ability to do that, and I feel like I can do that for the team and, you know, um, but I have faith in whoever it may be, but um, you know I, that's a goal of mine, and I and I want to do that for us for sure. How about just the next three weeks? What are you hoping to learn about this team? You know, just our our willingness to compete and get after it. You know, we're we're going to do that. Then the first couple of days of practice, scrimmage, guys seeing uh, live at bats and getting up to speed with fastball, that'll be good. But just the, that competitiveness, uh, getting after it again, it's it's fun and um, competing with each other and you know getting better in that in, in that way. Sure. So you guys all shaved your heads? Yeah, we did. We did. We got a we got a nice little buzz cut going for um, the Versus Cancer Foundation. We we did a lot of good things and raised a lot of money for for kids that need it. And I know shaving our heads the the least we can do for sure for all the kids out there. Which, which teammate was probably the most resi re most resistant? To oh, heads? I gotta call E Fry out on that one. Yeah, he he, he didn't want his. Uh, Hair touch too bad, but you know, it's it's good. It was a lot of fun. You guys had a good time with that. Yeah, definitely, for sure.